Join us as we have a heart-to-heart -heart chat with the most influential people in Hong Kong. Watch us every Friday on the Hong Kong International Business Channel. This is Friday Beyond Spotlights. Do you see sports as an integral part of work, life and play in Hong Kong? I've really noticed that the young people now, they care a lot more about quality of life, quality right. of life. It's not just about work, but work-life balance. And part of life is sports. Hong Kong, although it's a compact city, mm -hmm. but there are facilities, although not enough, we hope for more. But I think everyone use our waterfront. We use our um, limited resources to make the best out of Hong Kong. To be a really strong sporting nation, we not only need medals, we need more young people to participate themselves in sports. And this will lead to the business part, where sports industry and business can blossom. I think when you talk about one country, two system, I think the, the, the immediately we, we can connect to is the Greater Bay Area. Greater Bay Area immediately extends Hong Kong's reach and population to 7, 70 million people, from 7 million. Uh, we all know that the uh, Kai Tak Sports Park is going to be ready in 2024. Are we going to have World Cup here? I think definitely World Cup's on site. China as a, as a hosting nation can get the World Cup. And of course, uh, by then, if it happens, I'm sure Hong Kong would be able to host a few big events uh, Great. coming to Hong Kong. So, this will be, again, this is important for the Greater Bay Area. Your wife is Guo Jingjing, and uh, she won the total of uh, four Olympic gold medals. It's medals, I think we should see a deeper story. Mm -hmm. I think it's also responsible for society and people to understand the Lion Rock spirit behind getting these medals. Join us on Friday Beyond Spotlight to see and embrace the bigger picture.